What's your reaction to the verdict, the guilty verdict? Uh, we just ask everybody to respect the verdict. It's our system. We tried this, clay, uh, this case with class, and uh, you know, we're going to live with the outcome. That's the way it is. Can you talk a little bit about what that outcome is right now for Mr. Janetsky? Do you mean the guilty verdict? Yes, sir. What, what uh, the penalties are that he's facing now? Well, um, the maximum possible penalty is uh, 93 days in jail. But, I mean, first-time offenders, at least in uh, this jurisdiction, usually sometimes get probation, often get probation, uh, depending on the results of the substance abuse assessment, which you have to undergo by law, and then um, the judge will sentence them at a later date. Yeah, there are there are fines and there are fines and costs. The driver assessment fee from the Secretary of State is five hundred dollars a year for two years. Um, it's actually a thousand dollars a year for two years. Uh, six points on his license, which of course he's because of the applied consent issue, he's got six points uh, as it is, and um, that won't be added on. And um, Judge Jordan, you know, may or may not put him on probation, and then of course there are the court fines and costs there. Does the verdict surprise you, or what were you expecting? Uh, does it surprise me? It's our jury system. I mean, you never know what people are thinking. You just put on the best case you can based on the facts that you have and that you can develop. You invested a lot in this particular case. I mean, you asked for something, was it true, 800 pages of documents, and you bought $800 worth of software, and you flew people in? Well, that's, that's, I, I didn't. That's not quite correct. I don't know that. I don't know that it's 800 pages. I know that we base stamped uh, a little over 300 pages worth of documents, and as we heard from Mr. French today, we didn't get everything. Has Mr. Janetsky talked about learning anything from this experience? Uh, I'm sure that that's probably, you know, I mean, everything in life is a learning experience, right? Does he have any concerns that this will affect his standing in the house? Um, well, he's certainly not the first lawmaker to be convicted of a crime. How about his, his campaign for re-election? I, I, you know, I'm not in that district. I'm not on his campaign staff or a political advisor. I just, I, I, I don't know how I would know that. Is there anything you'd want, us, want him to say, or is there anything he would say to his constituents who might be disappointing him? It's just not part of my job in this whole thing. Do you think he'll be out willing to talk to us after he comes out of this courthouse? Um, I've told him not to, to speak because the Fifth Amendment continues through sentencing. And uh, I've advised him not to speak and I'd ask him all to respect him at this time.